Hey everyone, it's Andrea and welcome back to the channel. This is my haul video of everything I bought in... I don't know what month it was. February! February. Oh God, not with it. So I've put a bit of orange here because this vinyl stuff is getting a bit wrecked so I'll need to get a new one. Because Jennifer's painting on it all the time. So we've got a few supplies first. So I got two sets of Bic marking pens. The first one, they're not in their packets because I've been using them. They're just highlighters. Uh, there's pastel ones, then chisel nib, if you see it like that. Very nice. And then there was four in that one. And then there was five in the sort of neon or bright set. Same nib. Very nice colours. Again, out of the packet because I've used them. They were from Lidl's. I think they were 199 each, I think. Not much anyway, so they'll go into my pens collection. I've got two packets of Link Shine. This time I've got a packet of the 10 Turquoise, which is my favourite for blues. And I got uh, 10 of the Silver. So you can see I haven't taken these out. I will be putting them in the bag soon with all the other colours. And so far I've got red, black, gold, silver and turquoise, so, and green actually, red, black, gold, green, turquoise and silver, so I'll probably pick another two colours this month if I can get them and I'll get a couple more because I do like them and I do use them a lot, but I didn't do much glittering this pen work last month. And the last uh, supply I bought is, I bought the Brute Fire, now this is the 120 round barreled set from Amazon. I thought I'd give them a try. So they come in this pack. Oops, yeah, it's a bit close. Like that. But they've also got in it some a small, very small colouring books. So I am currently working on a first impressions using these pencils. So I'll put this with the colouring books and show you these as well very quickly. Uh, so yes, I'm working on first impressions of these pencils to let you know what I think of them and hopefully I've got three on the go at the moment first impressions hopefully it won't be long and I'll be able to finish that off so I've bought 12 books in total or I got 12 books you know, proper books in total in February um, and then I've got these four that came with the brute finers which I'll show you very quickly they're not very good the paper's very thin there's a zen mandala coloring book you can see the paper's very very thin but for using fine liners or gel pens It'll be fine. Something to do. Either that or I can give it to Jennifer. I'm not that worried. Then we got our Wonderland Explore Secret Garden Fantasy Upgrade. Which I have no idea who these are by. But again, for fine liners and uh, gel pens, they, they'd be alright. And there's some little bits like this one with the horse at the bottom. It says, even if the sense comes with age, even if sense comes with age, is not a natural ability, which doesn't really make sense. There are always some time wave goodbye to some. Yeah, okay. So I don't. I think don't think they were originally English language. Then we've got one that's called time travel, which to me is like the time garden and those ones. And I'm I'm pretty sure they are from that. Looking at it, but it's there's no. Um, indication and nothing to say in fact that's the cover of one of the books um that it's by that particular author or artist which is not very good i don't think and the third one does credit the original author and it's a small very tiny version of lost ocean again i, I would probably do that with just uh, gel pens but they're so tiny and fine liners so on to the uh, proper collection books that i bought obviously color in heaven was Nouveau Fantasy uh, Fairies Special, sorry, Nouveau Fairies Special. There's a flip through of this on the uh, on my uh, channel. I am currently working on a picture in this book, although I do have to say that I have trypophobia. And I actually picked one with holes in it, so. Uh, trypophobia, if you look it up, it's, there's some horrible pictures. It's when you don't like uh, this sort of thing, and I'll show you it. There's lots of little circles together, or what looks like little holes together. I don't like that, so I'm actually going through the book and blanking them out with black marker pen, because I can't look at it for too long. I've done a couple of pictures, but I have to do them in little bits, otherwise, ugh, my eyes see it forever. I just can't stand it. Why do that? Anyway, 
I also got the new Kirby Razan's book, A Fragile World. I believe there's a flip, flip through of this up as well. I love this book. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> they are gorgeous. You could do them as their normal colours. You could do them as fantasy colours. I want to do the koala, but I want to do it as it should look. Um, I don't know where it is. It's in here somewhere. But I think it's beautiful. It's next to an orangutan. But they are just beautiful pictures, as always. In fact, I saw a picture from a uh, part of a picture from his new book. He's teasing the new book uh, that's coming out in 2022 already, uh, and that looks great as well. I can't think of what it was called, but again, it's got world in the title, so there is a fragile world. Look at that, stunning. I got another uh, Relax With Art pocket edition. These are great for travelling on a plane, on a bus. Put it in your handbag with some fine liners or some gel pens. I'd, I'd do that one with glitter gel pens, no problem. I probably will do that with glitter gel pens. Or even some, some markers or, or pencils would be fine. I like the colour like that, ballerinas, quite pretty. I've started buying these now, but I don't buy them all. I have to actually like what's in it and I have a quick flip through in the shop. And I also bought issue 77 of Relax With Art. I get confused at what numbers they are, I have to go by the picture on the cover, but again, I'm doing one of the patterns in the other book, um, 76, but I haven't finished it. I think I've done a picture in there though. I have no idea anymore, but I love these the cakes and things, but even like, she's uh, shaving a poodle, that's the cover picture, and then he's got, I like this one, this is the one I want to do, the girl putting her makeup on, I like that one. I got the Chibi Zodiac by Yam Puff because I'm right into Yam Puff. I'm currently working in the other Yam Puff book I've got. I think these are lovely. I will put a flip through of this up when I get the chance. It's got the star sign and uh, a little bit about them uh, and so on. And it even contains the new 13th Zodiac. Another one I picked up just because I like the patterns in it is the Zen colouring book. I've done one in this one, but you'll see that in my um, completed pages book. This is mostly patterns like this one on the back. Again, it's just something to do. I like that one. You know, just simple patterns, get a couple of markers out, have a go, something a bit more like that. Like that. Gel pens, perfect for glitter gel pens. Look at that, I love that. So there's that one. This one you've already seen, there's a flip through up and of course we coloured in it and that is the Harry Potter Chibi. So, yeah, this apparently has been taken down off of Amazon so I don't think it could have been like an official book. Either that or it's out of print by the company who, who printed it, there's, it doesn't even say. And the other one, the Magical Artifacts is no longer up as well so I won't be able to get that which is really annoying. But that's how it is, I'm glad I got the one I did because I really enjoyed colouring in that book. First book I received in February is also the most expensive and of course it is The Fairy Touch of Magic by Cara Markova. I didn't put a flip through this up, I normally would but I was too excited, I wanted to get colouring in it. So I love it, I think it's beautiful, like I said I have done a picture in it so it will be in my completed pages which will be up shortly and I want to colour in again this one in March because I just think it's so beautiful. I will probably however go back and do the signpost page with this book belongs to this one which you put your name in the middle and then I'm, I'm you know I might do it in order because I really like the pictures but I had to pick one to start and I picked one I really liked and I thought let's get over the fear of colouring in these books they're so expensive and they're so beautiful and I'm not going to lie that was expensive to get it over here right I finally broke down and bought one of the mythographic books colouring discover I bought Enchanted Castles by Fabiana Atanasio I love it. I think I probably will buy uh, some of the others. I do like the fact that it is single sided so you can use markers and pens and things without having to worry. It might be a little bit detailed in places but it's, I love this one. I think this is one's lovely. I haven't done a flip through of this one. If you want one just let me know. But I think it's just stunning. I mean I haven't looked through it properly but where I have looked, I really like the pictures. I find it difficult to look at them because Jennifer gets in the way when they come and I'm not trying to look and she's trying to knock them out of my hands. 
so yeah I'm really pleased I got that one I can't wait to colour in it now the next one is the only jade well it's not the only jade summer but jade summer's only put one out this year so I'm not worried about that I bought the jade summer dinosaurs uh kids colouring book now the reason I bought this is at the moment Jennifer is well into dinosaurs and we're decorating her bedroom and I thought I could just get some pens and markers colour them in I think there's two of each I'm sure there's two of each and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them out of the book and we're going to get some A4 frames some certificate frames and <laughs> put them in and then as she gets older and her interests change, we can take down the pictures we've put up, um, take them out and put different ones in. So that's the plan. So what will happen is then I will put the cover of this book into my um, PDF folder uh, or my, you know, my loose page folder. And as I um, replace the frames, they can go in as there's two of each. She can also have the other half whenever she wants it. So I thought that would be nice to decorate her room with. So I'm not worried about pulling that one apart. Normally I don't like to. The only book Jade Summer's put out this year so far, thank you Jade Summer for not costing me a fortune, is Colour by Numbers Beautiful Patterns. I think I've done two in this one already, but you'll see that in my um, finished video, finish pages video, which will be up shortly. So again, it is literally just, they got a custom colour chart at the back and I think they got some other pictures at the back. Oh no, just a custom colour chart. Well, that's pretty cool actually. There's their colour. So you can make your own, but there's their custom one. And it's just uh, full of very pretty patterns. I love doing these. They're so relaxing. Um, they're not too complicated. And it's just a matter of, you know, having a good go at flipping through and saying, I'm going to do it and finding the colours. Though I found that my limaches that I was using on this are running out <laughs> because I've been using so much. So I think I'm going to buy myself a set of 100 super dips. I gave the last lot to Jennifer. Oh, that she uses them very much. And pull out the corresponding colours. I might even do that with hers and just take 30 colours out. She's not even going to notice, to be fair. I might do that tomorrow night. And the last one, which was one of the first books I actually got, was Cupid Cuties by Deborah Muller. I couldn't think of her name then. I do love Deborah Muller. I am getting quite a collection of these. I believe there is a flip through of this on the channel already. Oops. Um, I think these are fantastic. I'm going to colour these whenever I feel like it. I'm not going to worry about waiting for February or Valentine's Day next year. That one's so cute. I just think they're adorable. Really getting quite into this look now. So, and that one is Deborah Muller's Cupid Cuties. So that is everything I have bought in the month of February. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you would like to see a flip through of any of the books I've mentioned, and if there isn't already a flip through up, just let me know. And I will happily do one for you. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.